think the first time that I ever started to wonder if maybe I wasn't reacting to stress um, in an appropriate way was in high school. Um, I, I went to see a professional and was diagnosed with anxiety and depression and told I could treat it with medication if I wanted to. But at the time, I felt that there's so much going on in high school and when you're a teenager that I, just, I thought I would see if maybe, you know, I grew out of it. So I waited quite a while, um, I'd say maybe until I was 22 or 23, um, and I decided that maybe it hadn't really gone away, it wasn't really getting a lot better, not especially worse, but I just I felt there's maybe something that I could do um, to not feel the way that I was feeling. What I really needed was for my emotions to kind of, you know, be a little more in control. I will admit when you're on medication, you maybe don't feel quite um, as fully as, as you may remember feeling everything's a little bit toned down. But on the other hand, when you're presented with a really stressful situation, you're a little more mellowed out, so to speak. And so it, it can be easier to deal with that situation as long as you're making good decisions and trying to change how you react to these situations that trigger your anxiety or your depression. I do feel over a decade later that I have my anxiety and depression under control or at least you know, very, very manageable. Um, I recently did decide to stop taking my medication, um, you know, slowly weaned myself off of it. And you know, I, there were times that I, I noticed in, in the first month that, you know, I, some, something might, you know, start to kind of trigger where I might react a little bit, you know, over, overreact really. Um, and so I just, I had to, you know, take a moment and recognize that that was how I was feeling and that this was an opportunity for me to use the skills that I, I hope that I've developed over the last decade in trying to, in trying to deal with my anxiety and the way that I react to certain things that, that I consider to be stressful situations. Even though I've stopped taking my medication for anxiety and depression, I, I'm aware that I still have my, my triggers that you know will cause me to you know hunch up in my shoulders or to grind my teeth and so I, I do have little reminders you know like to check my posture make sure that I'm sitting up straight make sure that I'm you know relaxed in my jaw because if I clench my jaw then I end up getting a headache later in the day and you know so I just I, I know that I still need to keep these kinds of things in mind um, I still need to work at keeping my stress level low even though I've decided that I don't want to use medication anymore you know, to treat my anxiety and depression. To someone who thinks that they might be suffering from anxiety or depression, I would just encourage them to talk to their medical care provider, sit down and have a chat and find out what's really going on.